Oh. Now, now they can hear you. Oh, now they can hear us. Had to yeah. reset the audio. Now. That was our first time. We were almost on time, and he made it worse. Hello, everybody. So, go ahead, run. Do you want to get anything else out before you talk over me? No. Just don't give any awkward pauses, and I won't. Welcome to Reply. <laughs> Exit Game of Thrones music. Uh -huh. Oh, I believe Game of Thrones owns its own music, Ron. Okay, whatever. Hey, Game of Thrones is over. Remember, Ron? It's over. Hi, everybody. No more talking. Welcome to Reaper Live. I'm Ron Hawkins, art director here at Reaper. I'm Ed Pugh, president here at Reaper. It's my job to talk over him just like that. He does a damn good job. So, uh, welcome to Reaper Live. Uh, lots to talk about tonight. Lots of fun things to talk about. Um, more good news than bad news based on the read sheet. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Run, it's a run sheet. Don't ever call it a read sheet. It's a run sheet. Call it any damn thing I want. How's that? <laughs> you call it a run sheet or you won't have a sheet. How about that? How about I just read it and it says at the top, read sheet. Because it's because Collins did that. Hey, the producer doesn't know what it is. He just says, puts things on paper. Do you really want to give Ed just carte blanche to kind of make things up and do whatever he wants, like Mad Lib style? We could oh, try yeah. that. You want to yeah. try that? No, let's not do that. I don't have the bleep ready. All right. So, go. What do we got? How was your week? My week was good. I just, in fact, I got in late last night. We flew through the storms. I was up in Tennessee. Saw some vendors up there and then took some time off to go over and see the Smoky Mountains. Really cool place. If you haven't been up there, I'd get up there and see it. It's a good one thing. We were up in Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, and Knoxville area. So that was fun. Cool. Yeah. What vendors did you see? Uh, Studio 2. Went by and saw their warehouse. Okay. They've got a phenomenal, it's a large warehouse. It's about a little over 50,000 square feet. Um, uh, it was, it's big, but they're a great bunch of people. Uh, you just have to look them up, Studio 2, online, and they handle a lot of, they just do a lot of stuff. Cool. So, But anyway, that was fun. Good. So what would you do while I was gone? Because I came back and the building was still here. That was a good thing. Worked. My ass off. Mm -hmm. uh, Studio 2's got a big uh, store down in Florida, Sci-Fi City. Sci-Fi City, yes. Actually, it's a chain of stores. They have yeah. a few of them around, but the big one is Sci-Fi City in Florida. Yes. Yeah. It was, uh, that store's badass. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. I mean, they've got an amazing selection of uh, miniatures and games there. Really cool. If you're, I don't, yeah. I'm not sure what cities well, they're in, but Well, it, there's city. one in Knoxville uh, as well, and it just, they go over the top. It is, it's a, uh, it's almost a gravity well for both nerddom, comics, gaming, everything. Huge play game areas to, to play in, and, uh, and if they get into a product line, they get into it heavy, so. Cool. Yeah, they've got, they've, I've seen pictures of their stores. They, they look really great. All right, well, let's see what we got tonight. Um, okay, uh, we have a special end of show thing today. Yes, we do. It's a I mystery. can't wait. Unless you want to go ahead and open it now. No, because I'm dying to know. It's a mystery. Well, it's bug not a mystery. Bug lips. Bug lips. Are you on? Yeah, I saw him. He's bug lips is here. Bug lips. We got a box for me this week. Yeah. Now we did dunk it in water. Very scary. And acetone. So. Uh, yeah, it's I. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to but expect. But we can get it out of the way first. But you want to wait till the end, don't you? Let's. You know what? It's been sitting here teasing me all week. We're going to let them be teased for an hour. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay? So, um, yeah. So, yeah. A bug lips box. That's pretty scary. Uh, Kickstarter update. Yes. So, uh, Australia. Just all this, I mean, it was like it took forever for the container to finally get to Australia. And it finally got there. I was like, oh, my gosh, this is such a slow process. But once it got there. No, once it got there, they had to fumigate it. Yeah, I know. Oh, Okay. Once it got there, it got fumigated, oh. cleared customs, and delivered to Etherworks like that. It was fast. Yeah. They're 66% through shipping all the Australian orders at this mm -hmm. point. Which is a good thing. Yeah, it's a great thing. That's fantastic. They've really, Etherworks guys are really kicking yeah. some butt out down there. So, uh, yeah, Australia, uh, we sent out a, a, a Kickstarter update today. 66% finished on the shipping already. So, they'll be done by, uh, hopefully, see, I guess we got, the, I guess we, they, we got it last night. Paul said they're going to probably work through the weekend. It's Friday there now, so their week is ending. But he had mentioned also pushing a little bit through the weekend because they have another container or something on the back end of this. Another, so, another job? I don't know. <clears throat> they, they are very good about, though, keeping all the backers in that area updated. So they'll, they'll answer their email and they'll send out their updates. That leads to the question, when, to, when can normal people, non-Kickstarter backers, get a hold of all the cool stuff that we have left over? Here wow. or in Australia? Yes. Okay. So what we're, yeah, the stink bug figure. Um, so the plan is, so right now we're kind of getting things ready to ship the new Bones stuff, the Bones 4 stuff into distribution. Last week we talked about it, it had a street date of the 24th. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
And the shop floor is full of it. I was down there early today. They're packaging it up. In fact, set a record on the packaging department. Go get, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they're doing really good. So that's the, the plan is to start shipping all those into to distribution on the 14th, which doesn't mean anything for you guys really, but it uh, should be live on the Reaper store on the 24th. Mm -hmm. That's that's the plan. Okay. So fingers crossed. Now that, that it'll happen. Mm -hmm. There we go. go. Yeah. So that stuff's coming. Um, we haven't made, we, we will be putting up the extra uh, expansions and core sets up pretty soon. I would guess next, next week. Would you, next week. Yeah, for probably sure. sometime next, next week. week. Yeah. We'll, They're going to have to be pulled down. We have to inventory. We have to figure out how much we got. Up. We have to hold some back for all different reasons and then, mm -hmm. uh, and then the rest will go up. And so there was one I said, like last week I was saying, we only had about a quarter pallet of it left. There's going to be one that's going to go pretty fast. Yeah. So when they do go up, be looking in the mailbox, whatever. You know, however you track it, be tracking it. Yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll be putting those up. We'll make an announcement next week before we put them up. So okay. uh, it, we may put them up before Reaper Live next week. So, But pay attention to social media. We'll put it on Facebook and Twitter um, and you know, on our front page and things like that. So it's, it's coming. So a lot of stuff about the Avalanche. Everyone's waiting really, really quickly. Um, let's see. Um, well, we've also got what's the giveaway this week. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. What is the giveaway this week? Oh, this guy. He's our giveaway, huh? I thought he was just a cool guy to look at. Yeah. Yep. We so have eight how many are we giving away? Eight. Eight. We're going to give away eight Rothros models. This is from the Bones 4 Kickstarter. Um, this is a, a classic Bones figure, not a Bones black, but a regular classic Bones, regular mm -hmm. Bones material. And uh, we'll be giving away eight of these guys. So the it's hashtag free. Is that what it is? Yes, it is. Okay. Hashtag right. free. So make sure you put it in. Hashtag free. So you can get a, a free... Uh, Rothros. Now, did it come with optional arm sets with it? No. With this, they were just the four arms. There's two. There's two. We did this guy, and then we did the uh, the other Nargloth, the Fire Demon, which okay. is very similar. The only difference between the two models is the arms. Okay. So it's not a conversion kind of a thing. Oh, okay. One guy has two, one guy has four. So, you know, there we go. There you go. Be. You're going to get a little bag just like this. Saying congratulations to everyone who has won uh, giveaways in the Some the assembly giveaways. will be required. A little bit of assembly. Yes. A little bit. A little Super bit. glue. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Um, let's see, ReaperCon tickets, admission tickets are already on sale. They've been on sale for a while. Uh, tickets are going really, really well. Mm -hmm. um, we put up the class schedule last night and finished putting it up today. So if you go on, there's a link that Justin's gotten here that you can go and look at the um, class schedule at this point. So now, like I said, you can go on, you can register for classes, but just because you've registered for a class, what does that mean? Well, you have to go through all of the steps and check out and actually have paid for the whole class. Right. And tickets aren't on sale yet. Okay. This is just for you to look at the class schedule, see what you want to, may you want to take, you know, compare things up and, you know, uh, just get a chance to really look at it. Make a schedule. You can make a schedule of these classes. You just can't purchase your class tickets yet. So you may go through and you may put, you know, 15 classes together on your schedule. Doesn't matter. But until you've checked out and got confirmation That's of it. the checkout. Yeah. Yes. So uh, it's not a real intuitive process we use it because we awkward. use uh, Grotex. Uh, it's not a software we developed. It's one for running shows, and it's not real intuitive when it comes to that well, little part. For the way we use it, it's not. Um, but other other conventions use it, and it works great yes, for them. Yeah. The way we have to do it, it's just a little wonky, but. Because um, you can apparently you can add it to your cart, you can build your schedule, mm -hmm. and see your actual schedule. However, it doesn't really exist until you've checked out and. So paid you've for actually it. gotten the ticket. And put it in your cart and purchase it. It's like yes. going to the grocery store and put a bunch of crap in your cart. Right. And then just and then walking just, off. And walking around. Yeah. Yeah. They're not going to let you out of the store. You can't eat the food. Well, I guess you could. You can't eat the food until you've paid for it. So uh, classes. So class tickets hopefully will be on sale next week. So that's the... At this point, it's just a bunch of... Um, Stuff, like I said, a lot of things are finally... Now that we get through the Kickstarter, a lot of things are going to start focusing, like I said, avalanching down and getting done. <sighs> yeah. That's a lot of stuff. So, hey, do you want to show uh, do you, the... Um, one of the ReaperCon iconic figures for ReaperCon? Well, we've got the question, will the classes be virtual? That's been a, been a discussion several times on whether or not we're going to put cameras in there or even record them. And where do you all stand on that right now? Mm. Where do we stand on that right now? I think the short answer there is, is not at this time. Not doing it this year. That's Definitely sure. not no, this year. No, nothing would be virtual, but there were some people, there were some questions about recording. And I think it was left to the class instructor was allowed to make the call as to whether or not it Yeah, we generally recorded. don't allow recording in the class. Right. But the class instructor has the ability to do whatever they want. So, But virtually, not yet. We'd like, like to get to that, where you could get, take the class online. Yeah. 
That would be fun. So, um, would you like to show the dusk warden on the dog? Yeah. Is that let's show okay. the dusk warden iconic figure for? Uh, uh, no, there won't be any at, at a Gen Con. Do we run anything at Gen Con? Oh, as a company, we don't. We don't do this paint and take any, and uh, so I don't know. No, but by us, no, we won't. We never. We haven't attended Gen Con in a lot of years. Oh, there it is. There's the uh, the dusk warden iconic, mm -hmm. and her her hound. Mm-hmm. So, sculpted by Gene Van Horn. This was designed by Izzy Collier, Izzy Talon Collier. Is Gene in chat? I don't know. Gene, are you in chat? Clever. There's going to be some delay. So. Clever Crow's in chat. Yeah. No, we know well, he we didn't give, sculpt uh, it. We can give Clever Crow credit. No, no, we can't. I've seen what he sculpts. <laughs> Polonius the Fishmonger, is that Gene? Gene, are you Polonius the Fishmonger? That sounds like yeah. Gene. I think, I think so, that's yeah. Gene, yes. I believe that, that seems to ring a bell. Pretty cool. Yeah. I love that. I think it's great. I think it turned out really, really nice. Um, so yeah, you'll get a little bonus dog to go with your uh, Dusk Warden this year. So is she human size, or is that a giant, or how big is that model? That's a human. That's a human character. Twenty-five millimeter heroic scale. Yeah, I mean, it's human size. Human size. What about these cool pictures you sent me? When, uh, we, we'll when are we showing these? Those have nothing to do with Reapercon. We'll just hold on. Oh, those. they're really cool, guys. Just wait. Yeah. The dog's name. That would be a good one. Hopefully it's not Old Yeller. Doesn't end well. Right. That's a, a specific kind of dog. I can't remember the breed, but I, uh, I was told that's a very, very specific kind of dog that's no longer, it's a kind of an extinct domestic animal. It's kind of weird, but I'll look that up for you at some other time. Anyway, so if you choose the, uh, when you get to Reapercon, you can choose a faction. If you choose the Dusk Warden faction, you'll get, that's the mini you'll get. Now, do the minis get released to the public after the show? They go into Absolutely. production? Yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep, they get released. Uh, they'll get going to distribution right after ReaperCon. So stores will get it. People can get it. You can order it online. Get it in your stores. It's just like a regular mini. You'll just get it first at ReaperCon. Um, now the enlarged minis, like the Deep Dark Dwarf. Are we going to be doing more of those? Um, you know what? Well, but, well I was going to say there's also the Trenchworks options. He's doing a lot of stuff uh, in that larger scale that is a license we have that they're trying to finish developing is trench works and trench works is taking a lot of our iconic pieces and doing them in larger resin now i don't know if they're ready yet or how far they've gotten we haven't talked to them we've been so busy but for some of our stuff it'll be out there really yes now what about the dwarf never mind then i was gonna whatever i was about to say i'm not gonna say now okay because you just stepped just, over just it. did it right forget there. it yeah. good i had plans to do something that even really cool, like the word counts way off i'm not gonna do it now I'm not going to do it. What, right. You want some words? Go ahead. No, no. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I use my words up. And if you, if you right. keep it up, we won't see the June Mini, so you better... You know he'll do you it. You never see the June Mini anyway. It's just a big tease. Uh, so, uh, let's move to the miniature show-off. The Nightheart Gaming NPCs. Okay? So, let's, let's talk a little bit about Nightheart Gaming. How did that come around? That was a group out of Houston. Houston or San Antonio? Houston? Houston. Houston. That they just... They're an online... They, they're a D&D role-playing group, and they're on Twitch, and they are, it's, it's exclamation point, Nightheart? No, yeah, Nightheart. And with that, Kev, I mean, Justin can put it in there. Anyway, they were reached out and talked to Michael and needed a couple of figures to go into their group. And in fact, two were, they're just playing around with armor ideas right now. But I'm going to paint a couple of these two dwarfs and uh, send those down there to be uh, monsters in their, their dungeon. So... Okay. It's sort well, of a the funny goal. Job. Is definitely to have some ongoing NPCs for their game. So mm -hmm. we'll have Ed's miniatures showcased multiple times. So oh boy, that'll be great for them to see magical dark elves. Dwarves. There's not art gaming right there. There we go. There you are. Yeah. So as said, I've started on these. I'm just now playing around with concepts to get it. But they're effectively the Darrow. I guess that would be the uh, the equivalent. So Durgar. Durgar. Darrow. Darryl. Hey, you guys want to turn the turntable on so we can actually see those minis? I, oh. I call them Durgar, but I know I don't say them right correctly. So. Yeah, you, they're, they're Durgar. Ed called them Darrows. Oh, okay. Which one is it? Um, it's D-U-R something or okay. another. So oh, that's I, I okay. them as D-E-R-R-O. Okay, so uh, Kevin Holderney's got a question. He says, <laughs> I know you have some models labeled as corpse markers in the Warlord series, but would you ever consider making some more minis with very, very specific poses like this? I mean, sure. Yeah, you know. I mean, um, they were they were used in the games as as casualty markers. Um, they were. I thought they were pretty cool. You know, you got the dead overlord guy and you've got the dead crusader guy. Um, I thought those were fun. 
at the little, time little models did. to make. Yeah, they were neat. They were they turned out really really well. I think Kevin did the conversions on the actual original sculpts. But yeah, they were cool. They were really neat. Um, yeah, I mean anything's possible. We'll consider anything at some point. And we you consider something walking past the popcorn machine and go, hey, what about a thing? And we go, yeah, it sounds cool. And, and sometimes that's as far as it goes. Yeah, yeah. But there's cool. But you things do go through. Things. You goes through the. Uh, you do go through the figure ideas. I go through that list mm -hmm. on the forums, things like that. You just, you just. Sometimes it strikes you. There's so much to do and so little time. Yeah, yeah. A lot to do. A lot to do. So many figures. So so little time. Um. So yeah, we'll we'll always consider stuff like that. Yes. Sure. Corporia has joined the chat. Corporia. Hi, Aaron. Where's she at? I don't see her. She's right there. there. She just said okay. hi. Yeah. So uh, uh, from the Funk 54, any plans to do more scenics like the Fantasy Scenics from Bones 4 or the Torture Dungeon stuff? Yeah, I think so. Definitely. That is a project. To, what we would like to do and what is discussed is to go back through stuff we've already done, like the base off of Dragons Don't Share, that castle, items like that, and reprocess them into, a, I guess, a Scenics line is sort of on the table right now to take all of this stuff we've done and put it into one area where you can find it rather than the pick and choose. And also a lot accessible, unlike metal where you can sometimes get bits and parts. With the bones, you have to buy the whole figure or not. So if you want the castle, you gotta buy the dragon, the you gotta get the whole thing. So yes, that is that has been a constant discussion. It just hasn't gotten, there are too many other projects in the way. But I would say it would, it'll happen. Yeah, like again with the, like the casual markers, we, we consider a lot of things all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, what are we actually gonna, actually end up doing. Well, there's a balance. I mean, there's, it's, you fill all of the slots, some of the slots, or this is going to be hot. And you would love to have only hot items, but at the same time, you go, well, no, we've got to go back and deal with terrain. People want, because it's really almost two by request. If uh, we're getting so many requests for terrain, that's what brings it to the table, and that's when we discuss it. Corpse markers, that hasn't been a whole lot. You're going to be the first request I've seen in a long time, but again, that would fall under the uh, terrain. Jason Weeby's in the chat. Is he really? Oh, well, good. Hope you're feeling good. Gwitty and Green. Of course, Gwitty and Green is voting for more prehistoric mammals. I think we got enough. <laughs> so, um, so, Jason sent me some pictures recently. I was like, this is really cool. He sent me another really cool picture today, but we're going to sort of I'm gonna hold off on that one. Considered putting that one in today. But um, if y'all want to see, hey, and Derek Schubert's on as well? Oh, my gosh. You got Gene, Jason, Schubert. Proctor, you got all those guys wow. on there. Look at that. That's crazy. So uh, anyway, Jason sent some pictures recently of something really cool he did. We talked about after Bones 4, um, after the Bones 4 ended. And uh, I think we should go ahead and show. This is for another upcoming special project. Do I get to show the cool pictures now? Show the cool pictures now. Okay. Let's see if, how they look. There's the first one. That's yeah, one from there's, top there's down. There's one. Can't really tell too much about it. Ah, look at there. There you go. That's a little, a little better there. Uh, titled the now is this the working title? Or is that this is what it's the working be? title that okay, Jason has guys, named. Okay, guys, working title is Gator Dragon. Gator Dragon. Is this, these are going to be Shark Week time, right? Is when they're going to be released? Yeah. And yeah, yeah really cool. Kind of just so cycles if you look there. at the image, that go back to that image right there. He, he Jason originally made a big gigantic base, mm -hmm. and but we're like, well, it's it's bigger than the actual miniature. So he went back <laughs> and. Chop those down, and uh, go go to the next one. See if you can find. Go back to the images of the, the minis on their individual bases. Oh, That's this one base. back here. This yeah. One. Yep. But even the even the big one is still probably going to be a little bit too large. But you get the idea, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to chop them down to the focus is the the, the focus the, is the mini, not, mini, the, not the base. The, yeah, not right. the base. Even though Jason, you did an amazing job. But we'll probably have to do something. But this is also a good example of what we were just talking about before, being able to capture those pieces out and put them into a scenic yeah. line. Yeah, they're awesome, yeah. awesome terrain pieces for. Yeah for ruins and stuff. And so the, the shark it was just for kind of her scale, but that's a really, it fits. Cool, really nice. cool hammerhead shark. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, nice job, Jason. Nice job. And nice job, Gene, on the dust warden, too. We had, so. we had a question earlier in chat asking about possibly more spell effects as um, One of the things we had on our list of things to do for a potential upcoming project is spell effects. You know, I know that, that we've got it written. We've got a, a dry erase board in Kevin's office of the things that we kind of want to examine to go towards, and think yeah. about doing. You know? Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's on there, yeah. yeah. Whether we'll get to them or not, I mean, who knows? It's like with anything else. You know, a lot of things you want to do. 
what do you actually get to do? Well, there's, and there is, there is a, a, a somewhat of a process to it, getting it, coming up with the idea, okay, it's fine, then it's got to pass muster of just sitting around talking, and then at the same time, then we've got to get prototypes, proof of concept going, push it out there. You know, on Sundays, the stores here is full of role players. Uh, I don't know, what would you say, 75, 80 people. So it's easy then for us to put stuff in front of them and see what we get is interesting or not, or there's a lot, there's a lot to it, but a lot of projects get going. What he said. Yeah. Okay. Twice. All right. Except probably a little bit more lucid. Curvy unicorns, rhinos. Oh. What? Curvy unicorns. Okay. And rhinos. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is a question from Jared Greenwald. I don't think any relation to Jen Greenwald, but you never know. Um, on larger bones miniatures, uh, there are sometimes minor base warping. Uh, what is the cause of this, and will bones black experience similar issues? This one here has a warped base. We went through this a little earlier. I don't know mm -hmm. if you can get an angle. Mm -hmm. Let me put it against the black. Turn it up. Hey, oops, no, right. Right. There. Yeah. So there's, you can see, if you, it can show it, there's a slight dip here. And then from the side, uh, the overall base is actually, you can see it dip down here. So it makes it standing to the rear weak side, wants to fall this way. Uh, the easiest way to fix it is the boiling trick. Obviously, you can go there. What causes this is, is when it comes out, it's obviously formed in the tool in a straight, perfectly flat piece. When it comes out and it's cooling, because depending on how the machine ejects it or how it's removed from the tool, we have this issue when we're making bases and running stuff here. Uh, it'll hit the box, and if it's still, if they have, they have the ejection time too soon, the piece is still too soft, it'll hit there. Other pieces will get on top of it, and as it cools, it's warped. <clears throat> And so that's pretty much where it goes. That's why it's so easy to boil them and straighten them out. Boiling them takes them back closer to their original temperature. They flatten out and they go. So that's how it happens. So probably more than you'll ever need to know. Yeah, I mean, and you know, possibly you could take this guy if you didn't want to put him on his base. You could just not put him on the base. Put him on a round base, yeah. and there's you know just a round plastic, there. or if you're painting for display, a large wooden base, something like that. You could pin him there. Just leave that base out of it. Yeah, I'd recommend attaching this guy to a, that's what I would do. I would attach uh -huh. this guy to a, a larger base. It would just look better, and it would give him more stability because he is kind of back heavy with his wings. He's mm -hmm. balanced pretty well, um, but with the warp base, he just kind of... Yeah, it wants to lift tippy. him up, and that's, you know, it's an easy fix. There's easy workarounds to it. Tim Again, Hill's the base is it's, the base. Whether you were, we're there to look at the mini and have fun. Yeah, Tim Hill did a nice job on this. This is a really, really great mini. Cool. So, um, let's see... This week we turned on some promotional items on our website. So if you got an order this week and you got a pair of uh, new Reaper earbuds, just like this, mm -hmm. yeah, lucky you. Uh, you may have gotten a cool Reaper oval sticker. Yeah. Um, or you may not have got anything. But we turned these on this week. And oh, good. Then, uh, later, uh, probably maybe tomorrow. We'll turn on some other promotional things, and it all kind of depends on the, the, the your order. So it's triggered at a certain point. So if you uh, if you open your box of Reaper stuff from ReaperMinute.com and you get earbud stickers, a mug like That's this. That's in there, yeah. Or a mouse pad. Mouse pads Lucky coming up, you. Yeah, yeah. Lucky you. Some pretty cool stuff. Um, now it is. It's not random. It is driven by. The size of the, the order. size of the order, because the the, 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 order. the the more expensive the order, the, the larger the box generally, which is what allows us to put the mouse pad and the cup and those in there, yeah, kind of a thing, and it just works it up from there. Do you remember the uh, hits? What was the bottom tier? The earbuds. There's or a pin. There? A pin. Oh, is a pin the bottom? was the bottom. Now, the pin's not turned on yet because we don't have the pin yet. But then you have the the uh, the sticker, the earbuds, then the mouse pad something like and that and the yeah. mug mugs yeah. at the at the top end yeah. we'll have more this is a new program we're just literally kicking off this week yeah and uh, collecting stuff up and it's something we'll continue to do and try and grow adrian works we've all gone out and tried to find and do what we can do so we'll sort of see what's popular we'll repeat those items of stuff not as popular we'll find replacements for yeah and you know you may get black you may get red same thing with this black or red red yeah and the little pouch says rock out with reaper hey remember it's free Okay, yeah. it's free stuff. There was the black box. Yeah. yeah, it's free. Don't don't bitch about it. It's free stuff. Um, well, you can't say bitch. Oh, sorry, sorry. Actually, you can say whatever you want, Ron. Ed can't say. Can bitch. I say rock out I with your? To. Never mind. Um, what? All right. Oh, Reaper T-shirts and hoodies to go retail. That is a constant discussion, and uh, it's just not had time to push that one forward. 
Actually, here's a good question. Okay. What about some Reaper Live hoodies or T-shirts? Do you think, would you guys like to see that stuff? Out of curiosity? Just sure. check in with chat. Would love yeah, to see what chat thinks. Yeah, check in with thinks. chat. Flood, yeah. the, flood the chat with the Reaper Live emote if you guys want to. Just flood it. What? Does what have mold lines? What are you talking about? Proctor? Do they have mold lines? All right. Um, um, yes, actually. It's to scratch your ears. You're using your ears. Yeah, Reaper hats. We're working on Reaper hats. Um, the place that we got our Reaper hats from before mm -hmm. is no longer in business, so we went to another place, and we're still working on getting those, getting those done. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. um, update on Pizza Dungeon Dice. You got any updates? We had some here. Ron, that looks overwhelming. Let me get these. It's pretty good. Yeah, look at that. See? For those that haven't seen, we've had these on earlier episodes. The Pizza Dungeon Dice... There's a long story behind it, but in a lot of ways, we call these the shakers, so it has the dice. You have these, as you saw when you rolled it up, they'll nest together. But the fun part is, is inside of here, is we're also using, putting a, a reasonably unique series of miniatures. Why? Now, they're designed to be fun, things like that, to go with it, to be like that. But the first series is going to be the high rollers, wasn't it? From the, is that what they're called? Mm -hmm. The high roller. Bobby Jackson's high roller. And different translucent colors will be in there randomly packed into the, the sets. But that would be the uh, the dungeon dice. Do you want to tell them about the chase figure or you want to leave that as a surprise? You could you want to see I think we could see one. We could see one of the prototypes. You want to do that? Sure. Okay. Let me see which one I think it was in here. Well go ahead and tell them and I'll dig it out. I'll clear off the thing. So I don't know what the ratio is. I mean, again, we don't do collectible type figures like this. We we make miniatures. We make stuff for you guys to, to take home and put in your collections. Um, but we're we're doing this little chase experiment with the dice. So you can either get, like Ed said, a, a translucent high roller, one of six, the little pip character, familiar is not in there. But you could get uh, like a clear red D20 uh, or a deer, a, D, a clear blue. blue they'll, they'll all be D4, shot. Just different randomly. colors and different sizes. Yeah. But every case will have, I don't know, pro, uh, Collins, what is it? Do you know what it is? Our goal when we had a conversation is to do about 1 in 18 or 1 in 20 as an opportunity for that little guy Ed just put up. So it's Pete. The, as Gene calls him, Pete, the pizza dragon. Mm -hmm. Designed by Gene Van Horn, sculpted by Gene Van Horn. So he'll be the, the, the chase figure. So every whatever, like 1 in 20 you said? About a 5% chance, and our goal, I think, this time around is make sure he's a single color, so you'll only get him one way this time around. Because the quantity smaller, we'll shoot him in one translucent. So, so there you go. But you'll there'll be different ones, and he'll, I mean, there'll be more of him in other colors later and things like that. Yeah, so. So, and this was actually, which, which con was it that the theme was, the Pizza Dungeon? It was the Bones for uh, Kickstarter uh, Countdown Party. Countdown Party, okay. Yeah. And so there were t-shirts, and you can see, yeah, we that's sort of what led to And then it, yeah. last year, so we decided that the pizza party at ReaperCon would be the Pizza Dungeon Pizza Party, and same thing this year. Mm -hmm. And I think, as you know, as far as we can tell, going forward, every Wednesday pizza meet and greet will be the sponsored by Pizza Dungeon. Pizza Dungeon, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, because the design of the Pizza Dragon was just so cool that, no, you can't use them in a pizza cutter, no. But that's a great idea, Tom's Dream Box. A um, little right. pizza cutter, that'd be cool. But yeah, um... That's going to be our thing. So we, we really like that. There is not pineapple on this pizza. It's just pepperoni. However, with some green stuff, you can make it whatever you want. It's, it's you, if you get it, it's your miniature. Paint it how you do want. Do what you want to do. Yes. Yeah. Just yeah. have fun. Yeah. Just have fun with it. Right. So anyway, this is the metal prototype. Obviously, the ones we're going to use are going to be plastic. There'll be a translucent shot. Things like that. So Now, for ReaperCon, um, the pizza dungeon dice you're going to get at ReaperCon probably won't have the chase figures in there. Right, uh, but so they'll just be just promotional dice with your, your and um, maybe possibly even a pizza box. Possibly. That's the hope. Yeah, that yeah. would be super cool. We've been working on that. So, but you won't get the figures with the, your dice at ReaperCon. So that's just for when we do retail. Also, <clears> too, <throat> this is because we get a lot of questions too about the design or how why, why do we do this project or how we don't. This is another good example of that whole process. Uh, we've shown this now at the trade show. We've shown it here at the store, and over the whole thing, it's evolved. Uh, this model here wasn't even on the table until all of a sudden it came up, and so now it's been added to the equation. Um, there's just been a lot of changes. So for us, the project will roll until we're ready to go, and that'll happen with the terrain. That'll happen with any of these side projects everybody asks about. So, what's next? Let's open Bug Lups' box. Nope, you said the end of the show. Had to wait an hour. I'm watching my watch. you got 30 minutes, dude. 
Okay, we'll just sit here for 30 minutes while we wait for the 30 minutes to roll by. Uh, let's do it now. Okay. You want to do it now? Let's do it now. Unless what you about really the June wait? Mini? Let's no, save that to the end. Yeah, oh, yeah. I just want to hear you say no and decline it. That's okay. No, we're going to show it tonight. We're going to show it. All right, we'll so see. we get this box in the mail from Canada. So right off the bat, I'm suspicious. All right. So. Uh, What's wrong with Canada, Ron? I love Canada. Okay. You should. They're just suspicious. Canada loves you. I was kidding. Let's read the letter. So we get this box, and then there's a letter that says, read me first. All right. Well, this looks like a lot of words. It is a lot of words. I'll read it fast. Oh, i got to put on my spectacles, so I won't skip any words. Hey, Ron. I've sent you this fun little package in the hopes that you'll open on the Reaper Live show for a little extra fun and entertainment. As it is an unsolicited package, I wanted to include this note so I could let you know it's fully family-friendly uh, and contains nothing controversial or embarrassing to Reaper. I wonder whose family Reaper. he's talking no, about. No, note the word Reaper, not Ron and Ed or it's, anything else, but it's Reaper. from a goblin. What do you expect? Uh, one item is for you and one is for Ed. Bit dodgy. Um, the inner box is the only part you need to keep for Reaper Live. The outer box was just a way to ship the inner box and keep it a surprise so you can discard the outer box. I kept it anyway. Of course, I have no way of stopping you from peeking in the inner box, but he I didn't. hope you'll keep it unseen and not spoil the fun. Your ever loyal minion, Buglips D. Goblin. Oh boy. Okay, all right. Everyone's watching here. Okay, so. There's in, your sword. Here. Now you can kill yourself or unwrap it. I'll just unwrap it, Ed. Okay, so there's there's the, the outer box. Okay. All right, you ready? All right, so there we go. Uh, from Bug Lips D. Goblin to Boss Man Ron, open on Reaper Live. Okay. All right, here we go. <clears throat> here we go. Fingers crossed that it jumps out. I'm... Pretty sure it's not tequila. It will make my week if this just explodes, no matter what it does on Ron. Preferably glitter. I'll I hope this is a glitter bomb. This way. <laughs> I'm Thanks. hoping this is a glitter Thanks. bomb. Thanks. Yeah, I was covered until that. Goblins do love chaos, after all. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's another letter. <laughs> Dear boss man Ron, if hope you've they've gotten this far. Hope they fit and still alive and wear them proudly. Your favorite low-level hobgoblin, or excuse me, hinch goblin, bug lips. Oh, okay, okay. Glasses. Right. Please be glasses so maybe you'll finish a miniature. There. Oh, shush. I oh, can... Shush. I, it's, glasses are not the thing that will stop me from finishing a miniature. I guess we're going for a t-shirt, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Bug lips? I swear. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I love Ed Sculpts. <laughs> I wonder what Sculpts he's making reference to, Ron. Could you maybe... Uh, Arachno effing oh. assassin, maybe? There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Bug lips, I'm not wearing this damn thing. It's not going to happen. No. It's inspirational. It would be just false. <laughs> it would not be uh, false. Uh, it's a fa it's false. <laughs> Wait, what size, what size is yours? I don't know. Uh, extra large. Okay, they're both the same size. Yeah. <sighs> Bug lips, come on. Awesome. Now i got to awesome. wear this son of a bitch next week. Oh, we'll do it at ReaperCon. We'll go around for Pixies for about Oh, no. It, it, they're wearing Dead. this for the next episode. Dead. Guaranteed. Dead. All right. Well, this is happening. Yeah. yeah, this is the next giveaway. Who wants my shirt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> oh, God. Now, look. Now you're going to put it up on Zazzle so we can all wear these shirts. You know what? No, not going to happen. <laughs> Great. I don't think you were the one that made it. He could put it up. It be I don't tag, see. Tag I mean, we'll be an official yeah. channel. Sorry. I really, I don't, I don't see the problem. Yeah, Bug Lips just needs to give the instructions on how to get it to Zazzle to Ed so that he can get it up there on yeah. behalf of Reaper. Not yeah. bad. He has to get a functional mouse first. Uh, okay. Well, thanks, Bug Lips. I was really scared it would be something. I was too, but I was horribly, I was pleasantly horribly pleased. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> thanks, Bug Lips. I'll, we'll wear them next week. Put it on a mannequin in the background, the new Reaper uniform. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. You could sign them and give them away. That's true. But they're gifts. Yeah. You'd be regifting at that point. You have to keep it. So. If you're going to keep it, then you have to wear it. Uh, well, I can keep it and not wear it. <laughs> I can keep it and use it to clean my Jeep with. The alternative is to frame it and put it in a drop box in your office. There we go. I think it would look awesome I framed in the gallery spent, where all of the figures are. We've spent way too much time talking about it, so let's move on to something else. 
Thank you, Bug Lips. Thank you very much. That was that was really thought it was gonna be some sort of weird Canadian food product or something like that, you know. So ketchup chips, for example. Um, Do they have that, ketchup chips? That, that would be yeah. great. They're badass. I eat them when I go to the Someone UK. Someone has ketchup chips. Please what? send them in so they have to really? eat them on screen. You want ketchup chips? In fact, send the weirdest food product you can. That's not That's even weird for really right. Right. Spicy hey, no. included. Uh, no, no food. No no substances at all for the team to try. We uh, we exited that when we exited the alcohol. No, oh. no, no, no. Ghost peppers for everybody. Not me, though. Ketchup chips are good. Have you tried them? Yes, I've tried oh, okay. them. I've got my own reasons for not liking ketchup chips that I won't get into. Um, okay, so now what? Besides the, besides the June figure, anything else we want to cover? Anything else we want to talk about? That's going to be a short episode. No. Yeah, look. No, you're 40 minutes yeah, in. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, it's fine. Good. All right. But what do we have for questions? Any good questions? Because that's usually when they heat up is when we get through doing all of our junk. Did you plan more explosions for J- Bones 5? Did we plan more explosions? Oh, I'd love to. What's Bones 5? Uh, yeah, I, did you mean expansions for Bones 4? Because explosions for Bones 5, I don't know what that is. We could put more explosions in there. It'd be like the John Wick movie. There you go, Reaper Wick. <laughs> okay, this is the second time Sophie that I've Wick. seen it. Uh, Yuva Tholion, are there more plans for Halflings in a future unnamed Bones project? There are more than 20 options for Giant 6 for Halflings. That's your call. Because giants are, oh, whatever. Yeah, I guess. I guess so. I don't want to get into it. Sure. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, it's, it's, oh. you know. Giants are good enemies. Yes. You need, you need a bunch of giants. Well, right? and they're fun to paint. And they have a lot of character. And they're big, and, and I can yes. see them. You know? yeah. you could, well, that's true, yeah. I can't see halflings. I'm going to, so. Um, Ooh. Monster Slayer boss has a good question. LED lights inside of bone miniatures. Is that an option? People have done that. You can do it yourself. There, there's, there, we have one in the gallery, I think, where he just simply drilled a hole and, with a supple, and did it. Yes. I, us doing it? I doubt that. Yeah, we're not. I don't think we're going to do it. It's not. We're just trying to make cool toys for you guys. Yeah. Um, DM. You, now, for the BYU Goliath. BYU Tiger, any plans for Goliath type minis? Yeah. Maybe so. That was a discussion, in fact, about a month ago. I remember that one of the passing. I keep yeah. trying to push for a Titan to be made because I would like a huge humanoid shaped person, but Ron seems to never like that idea. What, we, we, Look, he likes every, he doesn't like any idea that's not his. Trust me. Going on thirty years of Ron, I'd really like to see. Not true. Um, Bayou Tiger. Okay, sorry. B, instead of BYU Tiger, Bayou Tiger. Sorry. About oh, that. okay. Sorry about that. DM by, BYU Bayou Tiger. <laughs> um, we did explosions. I demand more explosions in the trailer. Video. Well, ah. go watch the old Base Boss video. That when we did that Base Boss Kickstarter, that is just one that, ongoing that, explosion. That's probably what they were yeah. referring to. Um, all right, let's do the June guy, and then we'll come back and answer more questions. All right. Okay. This is not this Actually, one. before you show that, I want to remind everyone here who may be tuning in late or in the no, middle yeah. or didn't notice, hashtag free enters you into the giveaway for tonight, which is what, Ron? A free Rothros mini. How many of those are we giving away? Eight. Okay, there we go. Yeah, eight. So Sculpted enter now, by, people, if you have not. Sculpted by Tim Hill. You're talking over him. Designed by Izzy Collier. I I'm stopped Go ahead, Justin. No, I'm good. Thanks, though, Ed. I appreciate it. I actually it. get pertinent information when I talk over people. Prattle is much more entertaining. Mm. Um, With no further ado, the June mini? Yeah. Okay, cool. Or do we want to go to a, a brief 45-minute intermission? We're out of time. Got a brief 45-minute intermission. Okay. All right. 45 minutes long intermission? Sure. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. and then we'll, then we'll show the mini off, maybe. Okay, here he is. This is the June mini. This is the uh, ogre sculpted by Bobby Jackson. I think he's got an actual name, but I don't remember off the top of my head. But this is the ogre, um, the new uh, Bones Black promotional miniature for June 2019. Free with any $40 order starting June 1st. Mm-hmm. Don't put your order in today if you want this guy. Don't put your order in tomorrow. Saturday. Wait until Saturday and put your order in then. Um, this was sculpted by Bobby Jackson. It has a very retro look to it. In fact, yeah. it looks very uh, heritage-ish. Yeah. They had a big ogre there that was just very, very inspired by. Well, it's funny you mention that because originally he was going to be the Dungeon Dweller Ogre. Oh. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. So he, he makes a, a great old school ogre. You want to see what he looks like painted? Show what he looks like painted. No, put it, yeah, put it on. There okay. you go. This was painted by Chris Spots. Chris is one of our um, uh, Reaper, con- excuse me, Reaper Mini um, Facebook uh, painter guys. Very good. Very nice job. Yeah. 
Definitely not painted by Proctor, as it looks good. It's not on cork. Right, so if it was on cork, it, it would be. That's for you, Proctor. Proctor. That's for you, Proctor. Notice, I'm not saying anything, okay? And it's not cork, you lowlander, it's bark. That's a Proctor Ooh. quote. That's a Proctor quote. Every time you... you I've been Proctored. <laughs> where's, Proctor, my, where's my coin? Proctor, I'm sticking <laughs> up for you. It's, it's not cork, you lowlander, it's bark. Um... Uh, yeah, y yellow, yellowest <laughs> square. I didn't realize ogres could be painted in less than a year. Very funny. Uh, very funny. Um, <laughs> Corporea, not enough purple for Proctor. Uh -huh. uh, is, is Clever Crow been on anymore? Is he even saying anything? He didn't he's gone, he's gone silent. Lord Dave, 312. Oh, over he said we can suck it. That's there Oh, there hey, he is. Proctor, I stuck up for you. Um, yes. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, you're going to get this guy. And if you just want to buy him outright, you can buy him outright. And three fingers. That was a question earlier. I don't know what that means. Um, they wouldn't know how many fingers the ogre had. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, <laughs> three fingers and a thumb. Um, if you guys have any uh, questions regarding your Kickstarter uh, orders, anything like that, um, help at reaperina.com. If you're in Australia, we sent out a link in the Kickstarter update, update today. I don't yes. have the up, I don't have that link handy. Uh, we'll maybe we try to get it up. But um, yeah, he's the same size as the Bones Three Ogres, Brody. Um, email if you're in Australia and you're watching this, you'll see the link in the uh, Kickstarter update. So please go check that. Uh, America, uh, Europe, um, help at reefmoney.com. And based on the volume and stuff, I would have to say she's getting really close to the end. This cleaned up really well, as far as shorts, orders, damages, that and the other. So. Cool. Cool. Um, yeah, if you have questions, send your questions to reaperlive at reaperminute.com, right? Um, if you win tonight, if we draw your name, uh, how does that work, Justin? If we draw your name? If we draw your name, you reach out to us at Reaper Live. Live. At? At? Reaperminute.com. Reaperminute.com. Look, Ron, you know, <coughs> one of these days you'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Um, someone mentioned earlier Thank that you, they didn't Jess get Lager. the May promotional figure with their order. Um, we it's run not out? out. No, I don't believe it's out. Okay. I believe it's still available. So I, you might want to contact helperreprinter.com and let them know you didn't get and your she'll need your order May number uh, in there and she can look it up and see what happened. And she'll need your address too. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, make sure to subscribe here on Twitch. And um, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Mm -hmm. Subscribe, follow, everything. All that Whatever. stuff. Whatever. Just yeah. get there. Have fun. That's the best part. Yeah. So. Yeah, we enjoy hanging out with you guys every week. So. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's and we've fun. grown tremendously. We have, yes. A lot more questions, yes. I think that today we have a new high for us as a far as... A record high. If you really? Notice, we do, correct. Definitely. How many episodes? This is number which? I lost six? count. There's so many. So many. There is. We're going to have to plan something special for episode 50, Actually, though. This is episode 34. 34. Yeah. Okay, Paladin so. 65, can you do a Reaper Toolbox on painting gems slash glass slash bottles? I think that Jen Greenwald would do an excellent Job for video that. on yes, that. Yes, I agree. Because she painted the... Um, glass bottles on the Plague Doctors that look so good. So we'll ask her if she can maybe do a, a little uh, tutorial on, on that. So, yeah. So, Snapchat? No, we don't do Snapchat. No, no not yet. We do do a MySpace, right? No, we don't have a MySpace either. No, my space. I'll no get MySpace. to it someday. It's on nope. my list. No. Nope. Okay, let's see. Did we have Face our, palm. All our things today. Yep, updates. Nah. Tickets on sale. Yep, keep, keep going with your Reapercon tickets. Um... This guy, yep. Watch, let's see, whatever. Shout out, let's see, Nightheart Gaming, yep. Mm hmm, mm hmm. NPCs. I um, think we got it all. I think we hit all our things today. We did. Actually, yeah, to complete the show, we didn't end it with anything waiting. Yeah, that's very good. Okay, next week we'll have some more cool stuff. We showed Jason Weeby's uh, Crocosaur Gator thing, uh, Jeans Dust Warden. Um, yeah, we got cool t shirts from Bug Lips. Thanks, Bug Lips, again. Thank you very much. That was very nice. I enjoy it. I'll see if I can get a picture of Ron, at least holding his up. Hey, Reaper Dave says Ron, Ron, Ron. I don't know. Did you forget something, Ron? Uh, I don't know. It could mean anything. Hey, That's we're expensive. professionals now, according to Paladin65. No. Mm. Actually, I don't know that we ever will be, to be honest. Yeah, Strong be disagree. Hard. That'll be hard. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the mini is still here for the June release, or the June promotional mini, so. I guess that's it. I guess that's it. All right, it's, well, it's, awfully, it's awfully time to... Easy. It's Cajun made. It's Dusk Warden, not Dust Warden. Thank you very much. 
It could be a dust warden. Let them dust. have their dreams, Ron. Butchering the name if he wants to be a dust warden, it can be. Okay, you can guard the dust. <laughs> All right. All right. Are you guys ready for the uh, giveaway? Yeah, let's I'm do ready. the giveaway. Yeah. All right. Let it rip. Well, hold on. Hold on. You let the tension build a little bit. Semi pro. Yeah, semi professionals. Yeah, okay. Or demi pro. Let's see here. Kind of pro. It is very relative. Let's see our first winner, and I'll go ahead and just hit the announcement. Remember, pay attention to chat, and if you see it, where are they sending the emails, Ron? Questions at ReaperCon.com. No. no. Jeez. Reaper Live at ReaperMini.com. Reaper Live at ReaperMini.com. Reaper Live at ReaperMini.com. Okay. Here we go. And That's go. the first one. The first one is Zystos of Games. What? Yep, that yep. one. Uh, second one would be... Okay, I'm getting trolled all these names tonight. <laughs> uh, Blar Blargis the Whelp? <laughs> what? I don't know. At least he's following. I can appreciate that. Thank you. What the, question, Dave? Uh oh. Answer. Ask again, Dave. I'll answer it. Maybe. Oh, it must have been rolled up. We must have passed yeah, it. Oh, here we go. Arizona Sean. Thank you. I, that is a name I can handle. Blargast Whelp. Or Blargest Whelp. Which Blargast yeah. Whelp. Yeah. Arizona Sean. Thanks for the easy name. Uh, That's a good Polith, apocalypse name. 1984. Who? Polith. Oh. The Polith. Polith. I think Who's it's Reaper Polith. Harley. It's not my dog. Mm -hmm. That's uh. No, that's uh, that's Vicky. Vicky, that's her. I think that's Vicky. Yeah, yeah I would say that's her. Hi, Vicky. Hello. Hi, Vicky. Uh, C O T R or Coder. That's our fifth. Coder. Right, okay. Let's keep Five. drawing these. Okay. Twenty-three. Let's say IDs or JDs. I don't know. I I can't read it from over here. JDs. J. That works. You're just having G's. a. It's a tough time. Yeah. Listen, I need my oh Af Afro Queen. Is that what that says? I can't tell from here. These are some good figure names. <laughs> Reaper Dave says, how many Imperial Stormtroopers does it take to change a light bulb? I give, Dave. How many Imperial Stormtroopers does it take to change a light bulb? Okay, there's like a there's, there's a delay. We're not going to sit here yeah, in we weird will. silence. We I now need to know. Okay, all right. Well, I'm going to draw the last person while we're waiting. That's really, you've already done eight? Ooh, you vet the lion. Yep. What? That is the eighth. All right, yeah, guys. Marcus, well. All right. Oh, real, real quick. Real quick. Oh. oh go sorry. ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Lauren, thanks for helping out at PaizoCon last weekend with the paint and take out there. Heard it went really, really well. Thanks again for helping out with that. Miss PaizoCon, try to hit that. Um, anyway, I just want to tell her thank you for running the uh, paint and take at PaizoCon. And Bug Lips, thank you for the t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Real quick, for the, the winners again, because I want to go over them in case someone's like not watching chat or not mm -hmm. reading or not paying attention, whatever. We have Zystus of Games. Wait, Largus, there's the answer. Well, Ripper Dave just put in the answer. What is it? Where? Are we going to read it out? What the is answer it? is none. They're all drawn to the dark side. That's why they don't oh, test hey. That is a Ron joke. That, you no, it's admit. not. No, that no. Is wow. Wow. no that's Listen, a, guys. That's, that's wow. a terrible joke. I'll go ahead and kick My it from the chat now. We'll make you laugh. That I think funny. that's a Dave, knee slapper shame. if I've yeah. ever heard Dave, one. you can do better than that. If I've ever seen a five-minute band, that's, that's definitely it. That's, yeah. No. Come on, Dave. You can do better than that. Um, okay, so back to the winners, guys. We have uh, Zysus of Games, Blargest Whelp, uh, Arizona Sean, mm -hmm. Polith oh, yes. 1984, COTR Coder, uh, 23 JDs, Afro Queen, and Uvethelion. Uvethelion. I'm going to butcher all these. Sorry, guys. Yeah, you, you did. Uh, yeah. That's okay. All right. Come well. to expect it. All right, guys, don't forget, send in your emails, and we will yep. get your stuff to you as quick as we can. Yes. All right. Well, thanks again for watching. Thanks to everyone. Really again. enjoyed it. Very laid back. I mean, now that Kickstarter's gone, we had a very sort of a zen show tonight. So, relaxed. Okay. Oh, you were relaxed. We're all professional. I'm waiting for him to talk more so I can just sort of I'm, jump right so in. So I'm not saying say anything. I'm just letting uh, you get it out of your system. All right. Because he can probably not. Uh, that was just <laughs> gibberish, Ron. At least he says stuff. I said, see you goodbye, good night. That's oh, okay. so he couldn't step over it. No one picked up on Let that. Let me just say something long and drawn out so you can just stomp. Okay. Well, it was really great to have you guys on tonight. And it's any moment now. Go right ahead. You got to put that weird pause <clears> in. It was really great to have you guys in and tonight. And oh, you, you're such an amateur. Guys, I'm going to roll the outro All right, now. you take care. We're have done. fun. I'm rolling the outro.